with you about Liam Slater being the wrestler. What a guy to measure up against here tonight in somebody the North Faithful know very well indeed. If ever there was, I know it's a phrase that's been used by them over in America, but if there ever was a grizzled young veteran of the British wrestling scene, it has to be Robbie X. But he was wrestling out of the womb, this guy was. You're right, Tom. I could barely hear you over the crowd chatting for Robbie X, but you're right. Robbie X, the youngest, oldest wrestler currently in the industry today. God, he's good. God, he's great. And God, look, even better than usual. Oh, Matthew, you always say that. No, he just did a 48-hour starvation thing. And we saw him beforehand. I went, what the bloody hell do you mean? You got on Twitter saying you've not eaten anything in 48 hours. That's on Tara No, I feel great. I've got so much fat and weight. I can't wait to take out all the anger and frustration of those 48 hours on Liam Slater. And I went, bloody hell. All right, mate. Robbie X. Uh, Tom, 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 Tom. Split crowd for Liam Slater and Robbie X. That's got to be tough for Liam, who certainly split his fair share of victories these past few months. Liam, as I said beforehand, still can't figure out what he's doing with himself. He wants to be King of the North, Cock of the North, the best man in wrestling. Yet he just keeps on coming up short. He's been battling Rory, who spiked his heed all the way back in August. And here... Now, he wants to reclaim some of himself, what makes Liam Slater, Liam Slater, this match tonight with a proper wrestler. Near hardcore stuff, near VCRs, near scary boogie men. Want to know if you've got BBC license or not? No, just Liam Slater versus Robbie X, pure and simple, in the NCL ring. Robbie X starving himself for 48 hours. Liam Slater, meanwhile, hungry for respect, oh, hungry for success beautiful. here at North Wrestling. And no doubt we'll have one eye on our main event tonight that let the cannons fly scramble match for the North Championship. At some point, whether there's a title involved or not, you've got to believe that Liam Slater and Rory Coyle are going to find each other again. It is open, but hey, there's more than one wrestler in NCL. There certainly is. We saw a whole bunch of them just now in our opening battle royal. Jack Bandicoot, congratulations again. You are on your way to the main event. And who knows, Matthew? What a wild idea. Jack Bandicoot, Proud man from the, from, from the north of England. When we roll into Sheffield at the end of May. We're going just, to Sheffield? Just on his back door. What? We're leaving Newcastle. More on that as we go. But imagine, that'd be an amazing night for the Yorkshireman. I can't. Imagine such a I thing. I'll have to happen in front of you. It'll have to. to accept it. We'll get we'll get you we'll you get you updated what? on that later on. But Liam Slater now stalking Robbie X here. Technical masterclass so far. Ah. I like that Robbie X wasn't immediately getting up to his feet. He's like, all right, I'm watching you as I'm coming up. Don't want like to get myself too open. And there we go, up on the rub straight away, kicking him off. Referee, obviously, initiate the five count there, but Robbie X just said, no, nah, I don't want you on there. For one count, pal, get your dirty mitts off of me. Robbie X proudly the BWR world heavyweight champion right now a the title champion the Burr champion a championship that he's defending on on a seemingly a nightly basis at the moment tonight no championship defense but certainly a lot to prove back here at at the brewery for north wrestling oh we love the brewery and we love having robbie x come here part of the scenery now all those giant things in the background there look so aesthetically Double crap lock there, taking him down, all the way down. So, whoa! Landing right on the neck there. Obviously, a very uh, short drop, but still, I wouldn't want to that. And, uh, yeah, Robbie X, very sensibly. Just hang on, let me just give a bit of a stretch. This that is what hurt. I love about Robbie X and watching him evolve over the last few years. Like, he has got that undeniable pace in the ring, mm. but he's able to slow it down, pull it back whenever he needs to, walk it off. Mm. He has become a more technically well-rounded wrestler since we all returned to the wrestling world in 2020. I fully agree with that, Tom. Young and old at the same time. Benjamin Button now back in the ring with Liam Slater. I don't think he was expecting such a short, sharp shock there from the Sunset Flip. I think Liam's like, yeah, you know what? I, I need to prove a lot to myself. I'm certainly going to do it and through you, pal. That was like he's putting that process of uh, two great wrestlers with lots of weapons there. Uh, wherever they keep weapons and the crowd certainly likes that in it oh there we go and cartwheel over the drop running Frankensteiner 
into a front flip. Robbie X like, yeah? Turns out my next feeling fine, mate. How's yours? Arsenal? <laughs> Where they keep weapons? <laughs> putting you in there. <laughs> so, Robbie X. One can dream. Uh, Robbie X pacing in the ring. Liam Slater now slowing things down. Slater, really, you can tell, like, oh. there, is a, there is a change to the manner of Liam Slater that you and I have noticed here at North, Matthew. We've, we've briefly touched on it so far today. Just, there's a, there's a desperation, oh, wait, a quiet Sorry, desperation. Sorry, but just these, these wrist lock transitions there. God, you, you, you are right, Tom, but it's just a little thing sometimes that makes all the difference. And all you need there is good wrist technique. Robbie X knows all about that there. See, got him right in the corner. Twisting and turning. Up now, Gans. Oh, no, front flip. Comes the seam getting in the ring. Oh, roll up there with the. Oh, no, roll up into the. Oh, there we go. Is that going to be it? Oh. Okay. We're so proud to bring you so many, so many different matches. A smorgasbord, a smorgasbord of matches mm. here at North Wrestling. Uh, you're going to see a lot of that tonight, but what you're seeing right now is technical excellence. And right now, the X is for Robbie X. In the car will in the drop kick. Right in the basement and the crowd loves it. North Faithful fell in love with Robbie X the moment he stepped into a North Wrestling ring. He has had so many Match of the Year candidates here in North Wrestling. And we could be looking at another one in front of our very eyes, Matthew. I'm paying attention, Tom, but I'm just riveted by this. We didn't know what was happening. I'm happy we got it. Like finding a Lynx Africa from your grandma under the Christmas tree. Oh. Oh, variation there with the thing like. This is illegal in UFC. It and certainly is. Oh, no, I thought he was going to go. I, You know what? Yeah, obviously, that is legal in UFC, but I thought he was going to make full advantage of that. Liam not having a, anything to defend himself with. Fair enough. Slap them down. We talk about a smorgasbord of, of, of competitors, of matches here at North Wrestling. I can tell you for a fact that Commander Sterling is back here at North Wrestling. Yeah. And we will be seeing from the Commander very, very soon. Certainly, yeah. That big, 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 big scramble match. Of Headline course. As well. Session Moth Martina in the house tonight Ooh. as well. Always a delight to have Session Moth. The, the Moth of Honor, still in our hearts, the Moth of Honor, competing later on tonight. And also some debuts later on. Ooh. Some big, it's a big old night. That's right. We as knew you, you were tell coming. by the ooh from Matthew Gregg here oh. at North Wrestling. Oh, plenty of oohs off the back of that. Robbie X with that getting back breakered. Brad break it, Brad broken, whatever it is, I wouldn't want it to happen to me. Matthew, what does it mean for Liam Slater? And I don't want to call this too soon because we I don't think I think we've still got a way to go for this one. Um what does it mean for Liam Slater if he doesn't pick up the W here? Oh, that is a wait, another blue ah oh, very nice transition into another backbreaker. One, two. Ah. Oh. It's gonna say I almost had the opportunity to not answer that question, Tom, but I think it's gonna set him back further and further. Right now. Liam Slater's autobiography is going to end, by the looks of things, with a to be continued around the conclusion. Because since the inception of NCL, Liam's Law was one of those names that's been thrown around as, oh, he could be champ, he could be this, he could be that. He did a nice backbreaker there, but he still hasn't been that yet. So, will this be the time to shine for Liam? I hope so, Tom. But if not, I'll be back to the drawing board. The man who's had more evolutions than Evie. Nice. I said that, and, and we're talking. We're, we're talking Pokemon. We're seeing a catch as catch catch them all. Showcase in this ring. Huge uppercut from Liam Slater onto Robbie X. Now he needs to turn, as Matthew said, that would have into a did. Mm. And picking up the W here tonight would do just that. Slater now charging again. Oh, I think he tried to put his full weight on it there, but Robbie X went near chance. But, ah, Christ! All of the flip, 100% flip. And Liam flies off the outside. Ah, Robbie X taking a chance to have a breather, though. As is Liam Slater, as he should do. Just got his, his bell rung by the boots 
of Robbie X. There's a hush over this North Wrestling crowd who are just soaking in the, 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 the technical proficiency that these two have had on show tonight. Comes in Robbie X on the outside. Taking it slowly to Lee. Oh! And just slugging out on the outside. Hope both men are conscious of the count out, which we do have here at NCL. Be a rotten way to go if we have a draw. I don't think either of these two would take a count out at this rate. You know they've got one ear on the referee. They don't want to hear the number 10. They want to be striking each other for as long as they can outside that ring. There we go. Phew. Good shout by the referee to just do it extra loud just to get their attention. Because not even the ref wants to see this end in a count out. Double clothesline, nothing happening there. Winding up and going again, still nothing. Oh. Come up, come down. Oh, the moonsault kick. I don't think Liam was expecting that. Robbie X elasticated excellence once again. There's something to be said for the, for, for, for the extra element that is Robbie X in this match. He seems to be... I think this is the strongest we've seen Robbie X, whether it is him fasting for 48 hours, that has given him that killer instinct in this match. Well, Tom, I hope he wins. Of course, next time we hear be making for 36 hours. Last thing we want is a I man like count, Robbie X going 36 hours without dinner. No, you're right. Kind of. Two and a half days. The thought was there. Now, Robbie X with the scoop slam. Ah, now. Robbie X. I was expecting to do it. Again, he's watching the lights. We appreciate that very much, Robbie. Thank you very much. They are expensive. Almost I'll as costly as that would have been if Liam Slater had stayed down. And look at oh. Robbie X back up. I don't even know how he got up from that. Oh, but Liam doesn't care. Whoa! Oh, over. Oh, perilously close. Heavy gut wrench power bomb into that perfect roll up. And Liam Slater can feel how tantalizingly close he is to an, to an incredibly important three count. Liam Slate has got to prove that he can out-wrestle the best here at North Wrestling. Tonight, the best is Robbie X. Oh. Wrist control again. Oh. Up. Oh, look at Up. Yes. Over and gone. A variation of the Blue Thunder pump handle is... Oh, God. Not enough. And a single crab. Nope. I think he's going for both, but he's not able to get him. I so, think he got oh. greedy, didn't he? Going for, the bo going for both legs. Robbie X like a cat avoiding a bath now. Exactly what he needs to be doing to escape that. <laughs> Another move going under. Robbie X catches him. Turns into... Oh, it's flipping into a perfect position. Oh, sit down, power bomb. Forget the bath. Is it an early shower? Oh. Two and a half. <laughs> Jeez! Will we have enough scramble for the main event after that? Oh, wait, Robbie X got the top rope. Liam in the worst possible position now. Oh, says the crowd. Spinal tapped! Oh, God, Liam somehow kicking out of that. Wait, X gonna give it to you? No, says Liam, catching him off. On the takedown. It's a single crab! He's mastered the technique of that. Absolutely grounding Robbie. He's got his foot round the neck, turning him over, and he's not able to get out. He's, he's tapped! Liam Slater stepped in there with a 21st century phenomenon in Robbie X and he took it old school to get it done. It was a half crab with the leg in the right place for the tap out win, Matthew. Perfectly, pardon the pun, excellently executed by Liam Slater. Very interesting to see who this is. Tom, do you have any info on uh, these people at ringside? Okay, so uh, ringside, we have seconds for a submission match. Yeah. Uh, and this is 
a part of this is because obviously with the submission match, it's tap out, it's pass out, and also the option to throw in the towel. Oh, so, so the, the purpose of second, having a right. second is to have somebody there who who can make the decision on behalf of their uh, of their part of their their lead, and also the reason for both of these guys. Both being trained by their respective ones. HT Drake, uh, who has been running a successful uh, wrestling academy in the northeast of England, has been training Mark Mathers for quite some time. And Mark Mathers, who we've seen competing early, many years before on North Wrestling, uh, is under the learning tree of HT Drake and is there to hopefully keep the peace. And uh, Jet Marshall making his first appearance for North tonight. Somebody under the learning tree of Liam Slater. Mm. Uh, so they're really here. They're there, as I said, the seconds as part of the submission match ruling, uh, and also uh, to, to drink from the fountain. I know that oh. I know that Drake announced Mark Mathers would be in his corner, and Liam Slater made a point to bring Jet Marshall in uh, as somebody of a similar uh, training style to counteract any Drake-esque shenanigans. Because Gosh. Matthew, as you and I know, whilst Drake is a is a commendable wrestler, we've seen a lot of that now. He's known to shit housery. Yes, he is. We're willing to take the easy road rather than the scenic route. Makes an arm drag escape out of that wrist lock there. Like I said, HD Drake. As some would say, well, he says this doesn't get a chance to show what he's made of. Well, put your money where your mouth is, pal. No submission match with the man. In the shape of the body, the form of Liam Slater, a man who knows just about that, just about as much of wrestling as you do, then let's gone for it. Let's see who can do this style of wrestling. And Gan, we will. Okay. Liam's so it's good seeing the, uh, the variety of styles here we have at North. We have had lots of uh, some sausages, shall we say, uh, happening. We've had some fantastic high flying. We've had Will Cruz slam like third impact into the. Uh, and now the earth. number one contender for the North Championship. He is. He's big, he's bad, oh. he will body slam the champ at some point. I like seeing that, that arm bar behind the back there with the set up there with the, uh, almost like the cattle mutilation. Very nice. Uh, obviously not got any tapping out. Oh, wow, okay. But all the all this body weight on that one hole. That's a very nice move. Incredible oh, no, move. I mean, before saying nice things about Haiti Drake here, but Obviously, it would be easy just to demonize people who don't like, but sadly, as commentators, we have to put over the fact that, yes, AC Drake is pretty good at the wrestling. AC Drake has taken great reservation with how, as soon as North reopened, there was a whole bunch of debuts from outside of the Northeast. His, his concern... Oh, well, we hate those. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, his yeah. concern uh, towards Bow Andrew Bowers and the North oh, Committee oh, oh, oh. is that they're not focusing on wrestling here in the Northeast. And he's got a real bee in his bonnet about that, despite the fact that, you know, we've got Liam Slater, one of the most talented, most gifted technical wrestlers of a generation. Why would you say no to somebody because they're not from an any postcode? It sounds like me dad, so once I know the answer, I'll be happy to tell him. I mean, that's why we like NCL, because there is this beautiful blend. Oh, escape, and that just with a few well-observed twists. No one reacted. Sorry about that, Drake. Sorry, no, no. But you know what? No, no this one cares is... what you're doing, your little fancy wrestling there. It's because you're a dick. And it's also because like the, the North Faithful oh, are just letting this right happen. Right. They're very quietly letting this happen. Also, bear in mind that we've just had the interval. Everyone's a little bit pissed. But they're letting this happen. Pints of pale driver all round. Thank you. Yes, thank you. No other alcohol supplies. No, just pale driver. Oh, no, just sorry, only drink pale drink. driver at Anarchy Brewery. Yes. Nothing else. Have it on your cornflakes in the morning. Put uh -huh. it in. Put it in your. Put it in your contact lens fluid. Okay. Always pale driver. Don't put it in your contact lens fluid. Thanks. But what you do, should do. Well, time to watch these two masters of the map. Gan at it. Always good scene. The ongoing feeling out process. They call it. Normally, submission matches end in seconds and take a, a long time to get going. Like the map wrestlers of the very, very old of the 50s and 60s, because you got to see what your opponent knows. Let's go in there. Firing all cylinders. What if they know the perfect counter to that? So the human game of chess, as Larry Zabisco used to say. So there's a single crab cutting the rope there. There's no honor system or anything like that. There is a see rope breaks do apply. So is that to contend with? And hey, what's this little scallywag doing? Mark Mather shouldn't be holding the ropes like that, and they oh. pay dividends. And I can't help but feel, and I'm basing it on previous experience. I can't help but feel that HD Drake has, has planted some seeds in the head of Mark Mather. That, that may 
bring his character somewhat into question. All right, help me out and I'll pay your transport. A little bit, yeah. I believe expenses have been covered to be here tonight. Well, last time these guys were out here, Hasty Drake, victorious. With his cheating victory over the massage. The last time Liam Stater became this close to winning the NCL title. Matthew's holding his thumb and his forefinger very close yes. together to show you how close that truly is. Background's in radio. Um, this close to winning the NCL title from Bobby Coyle before his little uh, change in personalities. Obviously, more on that later on as he's in the scheduled main event tonight. Whoa, so I'm coming. Yeah. it. You're absolutely still right. Still to come, the North Championship being decided. The man who came within an inch of winning that title, Liam Slater, he will he will watch like all of us will. Rory Coyle have his first title defense of his second reign against a very capable performer in Cara Noir. That's in our main event tonight, still to come. If you're in a submission clash, Tom, what, what move or body part would you favor? Uh, I, for me personally, I think you've got to take out the legs. I think it's the legs, I think it's the knees, the ankles, joint manipulation, all along those parts there. Because you see these guys, they've got such great pace to them. And Slater's really adept with drop kicks and high kicks and roundhouses. And if you take out those legs, you're going to eliminate a massive chunk of the offense of Liam Slater. Mm. If I was HT Drake, I won't say that too loudly. However, if I was Liam Slater, I'd be thinking slightly differently. Uh, whilst, whilst Drake is very capable, with drop kicks, you know, the, the Geordie lung blower and, mm. and the uh, the time crossing big parts of his moveset. Um, he, he has tended to use the cross face quite a bit lately. So I'd be breaking down those arms. I'd be stopping him getting a good purchase by wearing down the arms. So it depends on your opponent. Mm. It really does. Fantastic. I was going to give my thoughts, but you just took all of them. <laughs> I just took all the Thank words. Thank you, Tom. You're not a snack. You're the full meal. <laughs> anyway, back drop there. It does appear to be working on the back currently of Liam Slater, but... That's just a temporary but thing. But then as an well interesting every decision. other bit of the body. They're both showing, off, showing each other what they've got. But here's why he's working the back, Matthew, because he's going for that surfboard stretch. It's an old school hold, but oh, do it? with Whoa. new school effect. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. Surfing bird, Liam Slater now. High up in the air. And you can't you can't wriggle to the side. You're literally trapped in there. And look at this. HT Drake cross-facing at the top. Oh. Down there. I was like seeing that one. Very beautiful looking. That's just great testament to the uh, to the core strength of HT Drake, who's able to keep Slater there for long enough to do some serious damage. It's as beautiful as the video production here at NCL, which is looking fantastic. And the, the brewery looking beautiful as well. It really is. We're so proud to be here at Anarchy Brewery, the brand new home of North Wrestling. We're so excited to be part of uh, your calendar every single year. And we are coming back just before Christmas. Mark it in your calendar, December the 11th. It's a Saturday night. It's the last North show of the oh, year. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry to interrupt you, Tom. But the seconds are getting at it. Well, Saturday night's all right for fighting. Jet Marshall and Mark Mathers getting into it. I think Mark Referee Mathers was trying to get involved and Jet yeah. shut him down. He's there for, he's doing a good job as a second, he's stopping him then, but he's doing a bloody awful job. What's he? Should be interfering, should be grabbing those ropes. Well, Drake was trying to muscle over Slater for a cloverleaf there, and Slater seemed to, to, to kind of keep Drake, whoa, 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 keep your distance uh, with Drake to stop him locking it all the way in, but there you see Slater holding the back. The, the damage is done! Whoa, God. Head over tit. Can happen to a nicer guy. Down he gans, up he gans. No, oh, hold on, no, not carrying on. Up he gans, down he gans. And then rolling into the. Oh, did he get it? Did he quite. Ooh, no, stopping him. He's seen lots of uh, Raw from 2002. Big fan of Lance Storm, so I knew that was coming. And second rope into a crossbody. Oh. I think Drake tried to block that with the impact, though, and threw him off, though. It's very nice. I don't often see that from wrestlers. Nicely executed. And now Liam Slater and H.C. Drake at... Uh, Both doing the horizontal dance. That's the okay. one. Oh, wait, ref. Oh, shenanigans from Mark Mathers. What's the, oh, look at that. He just threw him a... Oh, Mark Mathers helped put the ring together earlier oh, no, tonight. Wait, wait, wait. Good. Oh, thank goodness for Jet Marshall being there. Wait. Jet. Whoa! Oh! 
Fantastic. Well, he's doing a good job as a second, but uh, has he not seen the thing? Oh, double storm to the back. I mean, that's nice. I mean, that's, you know, he's doing his job there, but the referee is distracted by him on the outside. Hazy Ray has got that big metal steel. Oh, no, Liam blocked it. Oh, the ref has seen it. Fantastic. Still in the ring, though. We're getting there. But now Liam Slater. Look that thing up behind the back. Uh, the second's going to the back. Wow, this is perfect situation for Liam then. He's on top of him. He's got the leg wrapped around the back of him. Nowhere for him to go. A very unique half crab. Tightly half crab. applied. Oh. Introducing the challengers to my left, aus Dresden, Deutschland, mit einem Gewicht von 90 Kilogramm. Your faithful, the Axman, Axel Tischer! His opponent to my right, fighting out of the city of Bradford. He weighs in tonight at 190 pounds. He is a postmodern professional wrestler, and he is the current reigning and defending North Wrestling Champion. Dulcet town, a dulcet home, a dulcet man with dulcet tone. So says the entrance music for the reigning and defending North champion Liam Slater. I think that's a very appropriate lyric for a very appropriate wrestler. Is Liam Slater bombastic? Does he dance? Does he sing? Does he do impressions? Do you have crazy hair? No. The yell and scream? No. Is he still one of the most passionate people? The entirety of European wrestling, absolutely. That's why he's risen to the top here. This is his first defense, and what a mountain to climb. The man in front of him, Axel Tischer. For the wonderful land of Germany and the catch wrestling styles of VXV. The man who left independent wrestling in 2015 and is spending the majority of his time since 2021 for making up for last time and making sure to not lose his sanity. And what better way to get up the speed with the wrestling than taking on a man custom made to be played with a man like Axel Tisha, Liam Slater. I am absolutely hyped for this match. Tom Campbell, please sit yourself down. Liam Slater wanted the best that wrestling had to offer. Tonight, night one, his first title defense, the Axeman cometh. And these two start out in the center of the ring. The first person to blink here, Matt, mm. is gonna take an unmitigated advantage over oh, their opponent. Just look at it. I always love seeing two Matt grapplers, two ring technicians, two masters of the human game of chess go at it in the first few minutes. Sometimes if it's a, just watching a fight, it can go a few seconds, but as you can see clear, both of equal value, both well-versed, in their respective styles. There, look, a forward roll out of the arm drag. Fantastic. Obviously, keep it on there to keep repositioning. Keep him down, settling the ankle. Going from the ankle, transitioning to, looks like the wrist. From a perspective, yeah, holding him down. Liam Slater now, can advantage getting horizontal, but still handcuffed to Axel Tischer. Oh, and now Liam 
Some the flexibility to counter out there. Oh, and sing him down to the mat. But this match is far from one. And now, you can see the leg work there of the Axel Tisha. Able so we can get the... Oh, no, not quite. Never mind. I think Nimsay saw it coming inside bollocks of this. I'll slam it down and start from zero. And there you go. There's the sign of respect from both men. I go, oh, okay. We've been hearing the story. We've seen the story for, in front of our very eyes, Matthew, of Liam Slater and his rise to the top here at North Wrestling. You may not know the story of Axel Tischer, former WWE star, former champion in NXT and NXT UK. He was released from the company and decided not to sit on his laurels. That's right. He decided he was going to go back where he found his voice. He was going to put European wrestling, not just on the map, but on his shoulders. And a part of that journey back for him has been returning to WXW, mm -hmm. which we have seen happen with a plum. But tonight, the idea of the Axeman taking the North Championship back to Deutschland, mm -hmm. that is a huge part of, of his comeback story and a whole heap of schadenfreude for Liam Slater. Oh, very nice wordplay there. Yes, we'd like to take it back from North Wrestling UK to North Germany to the Black Forest. The all of his other previous accomplishments with the VXV Unified World Wrestling Championship. The GSW Breakthrough Championship, the ESW Deutsch Meisterkraft Championship, and so on and so forth. His, his trophy cabinet looks like Arsenal FCs. I mean, I'm just so happy to see him. He slimmed down a lot. I had all these notes ready about Axel Tisha. A very impressive foreboding size. Former member of Ring Camp. Say that again, ring camp. This man was in it. And the first one from VXP to be signed to WWE. Just saying. Uh, but no, he's actually stemmed down considerably. Gone to the dungarees. Gone to the odd match in boots. And obviously now he's an outstanding professional wrestler. That boot that just turned Liam Slater inside out. You say he's not as foreboding. That boot left Slater foreboding. Oh. And here comes Tisha now, slightly oh. smaller as you say, but still overpowering the North Champion! Smaller in size, so he's got all the amount of energy and strength as he had previously. You two count there again. Showing on the case there to count. Heinz fight dry, if need be. Now Liam, trying to take him down via the ankles, but... This is the kind of war that Liam Slater wanted to get into. Last time exactly we were together, time. it was blood, guts, and glory in gory form. Mm. The gory glory from Liam Slater last time. This is a stark transition. This is Slater and one of the best in European wrestling. Mm. And they, we've gotten past the, the feeling out process. We're getting heavy strikes now from Tisha and Slater. Daddy, gone past the... Pawns onto the rooks and bishops. Not long before he's looking at taking the king. He is one move from literally taking the king, and I believe that that's in the back of Slater's mind. It's a two count. This but really yeah, arcs right, back for me, Matt, to like world mm. of sport mm. and, and, and how gladiators in those in, in, in the in those decades of wrestling, it wasn't about all that went on around the ring. Mm. It was it was but it was to its bare bones this as you as you said so majestically this chess game mm. and we're seeing that kind of wrestling playing out here at North Wrestling this is why I love why I love 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 sitting next to you Matthew and talking about North Wrestling because not only do we celebrate the the the, the impending oh, debut hardcore Holly style dropkick from Liam Slater then finds its mark we're ready for like the, the an ultraviolet championship battle next time we're together, thanks to Rory Coyle, who's opening up this this multiverse to destruction. But now we have this technical masterclass taking place with Scotty Too Hotty in the wings as well. Mm. What an anniversary show for North this has been. Absolutely, and this isn't the main event, believe it or not. What a bag of revels we have for you tonight here at North with the tag team tournament final finally occurring. After this, if you have any energy left, as both men saying their best lifters are European uppercuts, depending on where you're from. And just keep them in the corner there. That's when having to take these, bouncing off the ropes as well. Take it off. 
more damage there and I'm just enjoying watching this and a spinning back fist there you're right Liam does that overcome the odds oh two seconds German suplex to the German oh two and a half very close uh, is that to overcome the hardcore odds the brawling odds the crazy odds with Rory Coyle now Liam's the champion this is his first defense dating the rest thing he wants to do yeah, very much dictating the pace of the heavyweight division. Mm. Which you love oh, to see. Enough. And the shoulders. Oh, down with the headlock. Ooh. Very sharp backdrop there. And now. Oh, backdrop. Holding on. It was sunset flip. No. Up to his feet. Rolling him over. Into what a doctor bomb. Oh, a nice release there. Oh! With the jackknife pin. Oh, sunset flip. Only two. Oh, try to keep men going, but that's our distance at the start from zero again. And now Tisha, easy money release front suplex. Oh, God damn, all of this. This is far from easy money for Axel Tisha. You can see the Axeman being put through his paces by the pride of Bradford in Liam Slater. And again, what another momentous occasion for North at the anniversary show to have Axel Tisha show up going yeah I want to I want a shot at that yeah it's taken six years to get in this level um, it, it feels like yesterday we were set up at the Riverside but now here we are the rest of the calibre and worldwide fame of Axel Tisha coming over here but let's not get it twisted oh, oh, oh lovely Liam Slater there. has established himself as a world beater right now the world bearing down on him I'm not sure Liam's experience in Germany. He's been over the UK a few times. So obviously, there are key differences in the UK world of sports style, as you say, in the catch wrestling style. That's one from generation to generation throughout Germany. We're going to see a few of them flying. Very tight back elbow at the face there of Liam. Oh, not quite. But these two counts are getting closer and closer to three. And Tisha knows it as well. You see the gears turning in the head of the Axeman. He knows that these counts are getting closer and closer to that defining moment. Imagine, Matthew Gregg, on our anniversary night, after Liam Slater has ascended to his rightful throne on his first night, Axel Tisha plays spoiler. Oh. You know what, though? I think Liam, in a weird way, would be happy. Oh, uh, oh he would not be happy. No, I mean, not happy is the wrong word. You're right. But I think he was going for that Liger bomb there. Shot. Fast, painful power bomb variant. Axman appreciates. And sticks two. And now he's going to go for the German. I was thinking, hang on. Oh, he is big, strong. Made from German steel, of course. Oh, this is a kick there. And rev on. Oh. Come off of the bus. Well done, pal. Here comes Liam Slater once again. Oh, Maybe the Doctor Bomb again! Oh, second time round for that Doctor Bomb! Oh, surprise, Axel Dijas. Was able to get caught. The and same move twice in one match, but and surprised him with a half crab. Excellent maneuvering by Liam yeah. Slater. And that ring positioning. Look how far Liam has come. Doesn't need to worry about VCRs falling on his head or barbed wire or tables. Just getting that submission hold right there and twisting it until something pops off. He can focus on his art. He can focus on being the wrestling Rembrandt on that canvas. And he's doing it right now with Axel Tischer. If he can hook that oh. arm, great maneuvering by Liam Slater. Liam Slater, who sensed that Axel Tischer using that reach was getting to the rope, switches it to an arm bar, but still, Tischer knows his way around that ring in any language. I gotta tell you, that's the type of move I would expect it from Axel Tisha. The fact that Liam is able to do this in the North Wrestling ring and see that submission coming on. No, no, you don't, Sonny Jim. Means that we've only seen that one side, that attacking side from Liam Slater, trying to fit in. The identity crisis he's gone through ever since he started here at North. Sometimes like the party, sometimes it's getting dark, sometimes he's bleeding. And now we're just seeing Liam Slater, the professional wrestler. I don't think Axel Tisha was ready for this. Because no. even if he's seen 10 Liam Slater matches before, you have not necessarily seen all the sides of Liam Slater. These two now in a striking game. Axeman in a, in a in a in a risky position there. Could get counted out if he doesn't get back oh. in quick enough. Especially if he keeps his bloody leg like that. Dragon whip between the ropes from, from 
Slater to Tisha. Don't give one there. Oh, a neck crank. Oh, bouncing from bottom rope to top rope to top rope to bottom rope. That was Liam Slater's neck. Incredible place, presence of mind by Axel Tisha. Quiet respect here for Axel Tisha. I think people are like, yeah, we're happy to see you, but you better not beat our fucking champion, mate. When it comes to in, when it comes to in-ring activity, the Axeman is bilingual, and he has learned very quickly his way around a North Wrestling ring. And Liam Slater is trying to fight back in this now. Uh, Axeman, in the top rope. Oh, Dragon Wolf off the top. Wow. Or not? Oh yes, indeed. The Axeman trying to chop this tree down and Slater putting the stoppers on that. Both man mashing the pad. The uh, superplex of the second rope, but oh! oh! A blink away from a shock victory there as Axel Tisha is the one instead to use the blow. You've got to believe that Sean McLaughlin breathed a sigh of relief on that one yeah. because that would have been a VAR photo finish on who won that with that double pin there. That one was too close to call for human eye. You are right, Tom. Good job has been recorded. Presence of mind by both men getting them back to their feet after that superplex. What a battle this has been. A technical war laced with that little bit of strong style. Between Liam Slater and Axel Tisha. Absolutely, Liam Slater. I mean, the old Bruce Lee quote, you must be like, what a adaptable. Put Liam Slater in a Rory Coyle match, you wrestle like Rory Coyle. Put him in a Axel Tisha match, you will wrestle like Axel Tisha. Liam Slater proving that his style is whatever he wants it to be. And right now, unloading with uppercuts. Oh, I don't know your style. Step up into Gary. And a big German. Oh, 22. Big German from the big German. Axel Tisha rocking the socks off Liam Slater with that suplex. Liam having to use his, his mouth on the ring ropes there to stand up. Oh, didn't work. Look at the grin on the axe man's face. The, the, the shape Axel Tisha's put himself in this last year and a half. It's amazing. And oh, again. He's on wrist there again. Oh, the ring naked choke. The ring camp. Specialty will be a very dramatic way to end the match, but it will be a very be a very emphatic one if it does get locked in. And now, no front suplex like Easy Money. Oh no, into a slam instead. Oh, a sigh of relief, but not from a free from the crowd this time. Axel Tisha shocked that Slater got his shoulder oh, off the sacred match. Try to run the gauntlet like a bomb. No, just able to get out the last second. <gasps> The roll of the gun. He got it! Oh my god! Oh. Here is your winner! And still North Wrestling Champion, Liam Slater! Bloody hell, Tom. An arm and shoulders roll up. Out of nowhere. I think Axel Tisha was so confident. That, oh, okay, that move nearly got him. Also, I like a bomb, and this will be it. But. Maybe after the teacher should listen to the lyrics. Miles. Never fight a man with a firm. And that marks the first victory. First defense, I should say. Liam Slater, North Heavyweight Champion. What a showdown that set the European, that will set the European wrestling scene alight. There's Axel Tisha motioning for that title. I think if they did this again, we would have a completely different match. Wow, you reckon? Absolutely, that's why the German style, the Kanzler wrestling style, German edition would be an entire week, maybe two weeks. 
wrestling each other in a round robin style or a table format. But you never really know your opponent from just one match. It's just the first chapter of the story. I would love to see them redo this, but for now, we're off to the first chapter. It's Warlord Liam Slater. Congratulations to Liam Slater. One championship decided, one to be determined.